Big news for parents working to better protect their children. The FDA has approved the world's first vaccine to protect adults against RSV. It's a pharmaceutical milestone 60 years in the making. The drug called Aravexi is made by GSK, designed to be given as a single shot to adults 60 and older. It could be available for seniors as soon as this fall. And Dr. Slim Sharani joins us live to discuss what it means for our kids ultimately in the long run. Because I know earlier this year, and even before we got out of 2022, we were seeing an increase in RSV cases for kids, a big concern for parents, uh, especially here in South Texas. And in Texas, there were a lot of cases too. Absolutely, because this is like a you know, landmark uh, uh, discovery because first time, you know, we got a trial for the RSV was in 1960, and it was a failure. Uh, people who took the vaccine got more sicker than the people who didn't. So it took a long time, and I think the COVID and as, uh, SARS uh, technology did help us to identify the F protein which is on the virus and which it uses to attach to the cell. That is a big discovery. What it implies, as you mentioned, that it is one of the most common. If you are parents with a young kid, you are worried because almost uh, 60,000 kids may be getting hospitalized. It may not be the leading cause of the death, but globally it's the second leading cause of death in the infant after malaria. It, and seniors, again, it's a challenge. If you're 65 and above, if you have a chronic illnesses, uh, you get almost 6,000 to 10,000 deaths. Uh, that's what I was gonna ask. Why uh, target seniors first with this uh, medication, this vaccine, and not the kids? Well, one of the thing is it's a crowded field. Everyone is trying to come up with the vaccine. Uh, doing a trial in the adult is much more easier than the kids because, you know, again, you have to look into the immunity, you have to look at the side effect, risk, enrollment. So there are a couple of the things on the pipeline. So they got approved for 60 and above by the FDA. Now it has to go to the CDC for the recommendation, which they are going to meet in June. They may say that, hey, you know what? Not everyone about 60 should get it. Only people with the chronic illnesses. If you're a jogger, you're swimming for five mile, 10 mile, perfect good health, you may not need it. So if you are illness, you have diabetes or immunocompromised status, you have it. Now there is a trial going on which uh, they're expected to be out for the kids, uh, infants. Uh, by the end of this year, there's also, uh, you know, the work going on on production of the antibody. So if you're born and you can give the antibody before the season comes in, so we have the GSK came out with this drug. Now we have a Pfizer who is trying to come in and then we have a Sanofi working on it. So what a breakthrough after almost 63 years of uh, trials and errors. Is this something that will end up at the beginning costing parents more to get the shot or will it be just part of insurance? One of the thing is that the, if the FDA or CDC approve for certain indication, like if you're 60 and above in a compromise and if the kid's vaccine comes in and it is considered safe, then it would be a, a covered. But if you try to get it and you're not in that indication, that may not be covered. Dr. Sarani, as always, we appreciate you, sir, and your insight. If you have a question for Dr. Sarani here, send us a text at 361-855-6397.